Well, I'm Ranger Cookie, and I'm out of here at another spot for your enjoyment. This used to be the old shipyard. Well, let's take a look at this old piece of property. Enjoy. Once again, this is Bayou Lacombe of Louisiana. This is the bottom part, or close to the, getting to the bottom of the, to, to Lake, Lake Putch Train. There's the St. Tammany Trace Bridge over the Lacombe Bayou. And when I was a young guy, I used to take my canoe, I used to park my boat by the old trough boat and camp in it and I'll go around the bayou and I'll park underneath this trestle or the bridge, it used to have a little loft at the bottom. Now I'll uh, stay there for about an hour to rest, recuperate from paddling my, my canoe. Then I go back up the bayou and check all my drop, drop lines I have around the bayou. Yeah, back in the day, you used to have a little walk area at the bottom of that right there, and it used to go underneath here, and I used to park my canoe underneath there and uh, rest. It's so beautiful out here. I need to get a canoe again and and go start canoeing again. The shipyard used to park these big barges here and to pull them out the water and put them on the, on the, on the shoreline and to repair them, fix them, paint them up or whatever they had to do at the time. The Lacombe Shipyard, if I'm not mistaken, I forgot the name of it. I think Hurricane Katrina took out a couple of houses out here. There's like a big snake. <laughs> we'll take a look at it later. We're gonna go over here. It should be like a little bayou. I think that's where another place where they parked. Uh, the the, the uh, barges. See, this is why I hate. I hate coming out here and seeing this water left open. That draws skeeters. Damn skeeters! Got enough problems with skeeters. We got enough problems with litter bugs too. Kind of 
bag of trash. A little trail that we're going to take. Check it for gators and check it for critters that could be harmful for me. Huh. Somebody camp out here. It looks like the same person comes out here and litters. That's pretty cool. Oh, it's a metal pipe. That was a tree. A shoe in the middle of nowhere. I want to show y'all something. It's up there. If it's through there, I hope that's not a snake. Oh my god, that'd be a horrible thing. <laughs> it's not a snake, it's a gas pipe when they're filling up the, sh the boats. The Christmas tree of cement. Looks like somebody was out here with a three-wheeler. I'm gonna come out here and put some goldfish in here. Might kill the skeeters. Look at all the skeeters. If I could put some little goldfish in there. Now keep the uh, skeeters at bay. Look at all the skeeters. I don't see no lava in the water. Ah, look, they got a couple minnows in there after all. Yeah, they do. That's good. I like that. Little fishies in the bayou. Look, there they are. So I don't have to put no goldfish in there. They already got fish in the water. That's good. That will keep that will keep the skeeters at bay. Nice little ecosystem in there. What's this? Is this a treasure I could bring home? See, see something. Can I bring it home? Starphone would be good to go bring it home. What is this? It's a chair. <laughs> now, the Starphone would probably be good to take. It's all wet. I have to wait this summer. 
Now, if I'm not mistaken, there should be water running over here for some reason. Oh, they got a house up there now. Well, I want to take you up there if I can get there. All right, let's see if we can get around this lake of water. I gotta go all the way around. An old boat that have been here for a while. <sighs> Getting wet for y'all. All right, this used to be a swimming pool right here. And it has running water going into the pool right now. I'm gonna see if I can get up there so this is much safer than down here. I'm in the marsh. Damn you boy. I'm gonna get eaten by a gator. I'm gonna slip on the marsh seaweed. Well, if I ever get a boat, I show you by Lacombe. What it's all about. There's the water right there. It's another Aegea place where the water just runs and runs and runs into this pool. I'm gonna show you what's up here if I can get up here. Safe for Lily. Nope, I can't get in. Hang on. Looks like I can. Where's the machete when you need one? Mm. All right, there you go. Top view of the swimming pool. you got in right here this little little hole here I guess this somebody broke the cement for a reason just to get the water out or uh, no Aegea waterfall I remember right there's like a little hole here Good little camping space. If you want to camp here, not recommended. It's too wet, but you can camp up here. Let's take a look up here. Ah, damn it! This used to be a house laundry, 
Foundry? I assure you. Believe it or not, you can go down there. So it looks like no one's been down there for a while. But it is a, what you call it, a a basement. Used to sit on top of this house. It used to be out here. One thing having a flashlight, you never know when you need one. But I can clean this out and clear underneath what's down here and make this a shelter. If I'm not mistaken, you used to have a house up here somewhere. It's like an old pan plantation. But if I do some cleaning and I can clean in there and get underneath there and make a shelter if I wanted to. I don't know what's down here and I don't like going down there to find out. Oh, it's been a while since somebody's been out here. See the old house building foundation? Bricks. Oh, a rabbit. All right, let's see if we can get out of here. This is the St. Tammany Trace again. Look how pretty that big old tree is. Never, like I always say, I find all these abandoned houses always by a big old tree. Don't know why. So if you have curiosity why I'm always finding these trees, big old trees by old abandoned places, let me know. Because I guess it's so old, it's been there for years and years. And people abandoned it for unknown reasons. Well, there we go. All right, let's take a look at. Me and the grumpy came out here and showed him a, the uh, this bridge. He enjoyed his walk. This is called the Echo Boxes. Hello, 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 hello. Hello, 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 hello. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> At 5.55 they, op uh, they uh, open the bridge. And if they got a big boat come, they'll open the bridge. All right, this is basically what I do. There's a little slough right there, and I camp in that slough. And every two hours, I take my canoe and paddle up that creek, come underneath the bridge, 
park my boat underneath the bridge, stay there for about 20, 30 minutes, an hour, just having fun, fish. Then I take my boat again, my canoe, and check all my lines all on the shoreline. Then I go way up there, and I turn in, and I go into my slough, back into my camping area. It's now a refuge view. Refuge view. A refuge. Refuge. Ah, damn it. I'll show you the other part later. I wonder how, I bet you if I do some mag, magnet fishing, I bet you I catch all kinds of stuff here. If you don't know what magnet, you take a big magnet and you tie it to a piece of rope, and you throw it in the water and drag it, and you collect stuff. I wonder what kind of stuff I'll find out here. And that's where I was earlier. Over there, pointing this way. Now I'm over here pointing that way. And now you can see some more of the bayou. This bayou takes me to my camp. If I had a, a good motorboat, I could launch you at the Bayou Lacombe over here. There's another boat launch way up there on Lake Road. And I could take the Bayou to my camp.
I'm Ranger Cookie. I hope you enjoy the uh, boat dock and the Bailacombe Bridge Trace or Trace Bridge. And I'll see you later. I hope you enjoy my walking videos. Some of y'all do, some of y'all don't. But I'm glad you're here. Thank you for tuning in. All right, I'm Ranger Cookie. See you next video.